Hi guys, Hi. today we're going to be making butter chicken and uh, so here are the ingredients, I'll tell you on the way so first I'm, I'm going to put uh, the chicken all of the amounts will be in the description uh, so this is just under 600 grams, about 550 and we've got the uh, cashmere chilli powder So that's about two tablespoons, and now we've got the um, the salt. This just salt to taste. Uh, so we put the salt, and now uh, we're going to add the ginger garlic paste. Okay. This is uh, just under two tablespoons one and three quarters okay and we're going to mix we're going to mix this and set it aside for about 15 to 20 minutes just to so it marinates So now I've got a pan heating, uh, yeah, it's heat, uh, the correct temperature, now I'll add some oil, I'm just going to pan fry the chicken now, got the chicken here, marinated, we've marinated it for about 20 minutes, reduce the heat of it. So now we're just frying the chicken, we've added a bit more oil, we're just going to cook it until it's almost done, we're going to finish the cooking process when we've uh, added the gravy of the curry. So we've sorted the uh, chicken for a bit and it's almost cooked. We're going to take this out and transfer it to So now we're going to add the onions. This is roughly chopped. This is about two, two, two onions. And we're going to add a spoon, spoon and a half of uh, butter as well. Make sure the onions are cooked. Just turn the flame off a bit. Make sure the butter is melted and just. So, uh, once the butter is melted, we're just gonna stir this until the onions are like cooked, uh, started browning, and we're gonna add the tomatoes in as well. Hmm, yeah. So now we're going to add the tomatoes. This is also roughly chopped. 
this uh, this d the size doesn't really matter at the end we're gonna blend this all together so this is uh two uh so another so the tomatoes there are uh, 500 to around 550 grams of tomatoes and 60 grams of cashew nuts we're just gonna mix this uh until it's just started to water a bit after this we're gonna add the spices So now once the uh, tomatoes have started watering, we're going to add uh, around 200ml of boiling water, uh, ginger garlic paste, this is one and a half tablespoons, so we've got all the spices here, this is garam masala, this is uh, one and a half teaspoons, fenugreek, uh, well, dried fenugreek leaves, which is also known as kasuri methi. This is uh, also one and a half teaspoons, and we've got one and a half tablespoons of uh, again the same chili powder. So we're going to add all of this. And we've also got uh, some white vinegar. This is uh, two tablespoons. Now we'll start just stirring this for a bit until it's all mixed and then we're gonna let this cook for another eight to 10 minutes. So I'm just mixing this in and we're gonna just let that cook. Okay, we're gonna close this with a lid so it just steams and cooks. So uh, I've got about three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. You can add to taste, this is how much uh, we're gonna add. We can add more later if we want to. Uh, at the last cooking stage, we're just gonna mix this again. We're just gonna let the tomatoes and all of the other ingredients just cook, just soften up. Uh, so just like uh, mix it and let it cook until it's all mushy. And we're gonna do the blending with a hand blender later. Just let this cook for another five minutes and yeah, we'll go on to the blending. Just close this. Okay, so now this looks done. Okay, uh, we'll just turn this off. So I'm having my mum uh, pour the uh, the the gravy through a strainer just to get rid of any any of the tomato skin. So we blended it into a nice fine uh, pulp. We're just gonna mix it and uh, strain. Finished straining, and we're just left with the tomato skin and any seeds. got a really nice looking gravy we're just gonna start reheating this we've got the flame and we're just reheating this and we'll add the chicken so now we're gonna add some cream just mix this a bit just gonna add about three 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 tablespoons maybe a bit more four yep that's enough and we're gonna add two two tablespoons of butter as well. Now we're gonna add like two tablespoons of butter as well. We'll just mix this. And then once this is just mixed, we'll add the chicken as well. Just, just let that cook for another five minutes. 
add the chicken now. Slowly. Okay. And just mix up. Increase the heat a bit. We'll let that cook medium low heat for another five minutes. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna add a few coriander leaves. So now I'm gonna start plating. Okay, that's my butter chicken recipe. So now I'm gonna try uh, this curry with some garlic parata. Mm. It's good. It tastes almost like the exact same you get in like Indian restaurants. It's even better. According to your spice level, you can decrease the amount of um, chili powder you use in both both rounds, so in the chicken as well as the curry. Um, this one's okay for me, and it balances well with the paratha, so it's good. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope you try it at home. Tell me in the comments if it turned out well. I thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.